Hello, Hello wonderful person. person. So, uh, if you like your commentary in French, check out the link to Le Big Ted's channel. Um, yeah. So, what do we think of this tank then? We think it's good. It's good. Yeah, yeah, it's good, isn't it? Um, it's especially a side scraper and a hold down. A hold down. Yeah, yeah. Hilariously, you can even depress the gun significantly if the turret is turned all the way around to the facing the other way. Hmm. You can poke over a hill like on mines or... What, like the waffle? Yeah, yeah, exactly like the waffle. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Um, so this is your ace. Yep. Um, I've um, I've been banging out the games um, trying to get another ace in. It's not too hard, to be fair. But the teams, oh my days, the teams. <laughs> It's just like, I was just getting regular 3,000, 4,000 damage defeats and I was just like, ah, oh, stuff this. So I gave it to you and uh, you got you got an ace. Um, I did get one earlier in the day, I just didn't think it was all that good. So, But I've included it after this one anyway, because there's some interesting things in it. Um, this is a tough game though, you really, really had to work for this win. Mm. Because we had it easy, five versus three. But our team were just being like, they were just getting all lazy as if they'd won, they'd already won. Yeah, that happens, doesn't it, sometimes. And then because of that, we nearly lost. Oh, you're unlucky, you almost got top of his engine deck there. Yeah, that would have been nice. Uh, this E100 gives you a bit of a... Yeah, he gives me a hard time, he, he stops me from side scraping here. What's he doing, why is he... He's like, push me in the back. I find it so annoying when you have a good position and somebody else wants that position and then they just try and muscle in on you and it's just like well, they purposely get they purposely push you in the back so you're going to take a hit on your very thin side armor and um, but all for a sacrifice he misses um, hilariously or he doesn't yeah he just he, he missed. takes a wild shot and then we have this weird moment with the um the leopard don't we yeah. so yeah, so when you hold down and all they can see is your turret, as long as you protect your commander's cupola a bit, you're more or less, I might say impenetrable, but you're certainly in a really, really strong position. Yeah, and the hatch is quite troll sometimes. Yeah, and the front upper plate is incredibly strong, but the lower plate is, is really thin, so you really seriously have to hide that. No amount of angling will protect your lower plate. Um, yeah, because I'll, if you do angle it enough, you'll end up over-angling. Yeah, yeah. And and the sidearm is not the thickest. Um, in one of the later replays, I'll bring up um, some images of um, the armour in Armour Inspector to show you. So, um, Did Leo commit suicide? Yeah, he rushed in with full health, didn't he? Mm. What an idiot. <laughs> He's dead. He didn't even get the kill. Yeah. I've got to say... The Badgers seems to be doing really poorly in the game at the moment. I've seen a lot of people Who's take up... Who's camping at the other side? Everyone seems to have taken the 20,000 offer up and they've bought this tank and it's nearly always on the losing side. Um, mm. I mean, you've got your 10 degrees of gun depression with that tank, but you've got the weakest like little section in the middle of your lower plate. It's uh, mm. it's not an easy tank to play. I think it's a platoon tank all day long. I yeah. really do. You really need a platoon mate to back you up. It's... Uh, it's uh, what's the word for the turning? Um, traverse. Traverse is just hideous. I think it's one of the worst at tier ten. Mm, oh, shot in the back. <laughs> saw <Ouch>. that. <laughs> uh, and you could have just pushed the. Uh, you could have pushed the uh, badger then as well and taken a hit and killed him, but not now. Mm. Um, I got. I got to get away from where he can get me in the back. I got to pay attention to the badger as well. Yeah. See, I think the VK90, which is a completely made-up tank, I think it's it's fine, it's, it's pretty decent, but it has some pretty serious drawbacks, and it's not as strong or anything like the T22 was at the last Christmas tank we had. Mm. Um, I would say it's balanced, um, played well, it can be really strong, but, um, but if you just... It, it's, uh, would you say it's as strong as the BK-72? Nice kill. It's probably around that level of strength in terms of armour and rate of fire, I guess. Nice, 1400 XP, so that's 
Oh, and look at that assistance damage as well. Oh, nice thousand. Yeah, that's a nice ace. Oh, there's the... E See, I thought the E100 was a better player than that, but... Oh, well, a, a, a worse player from the way he was playing. So it's the ace I got a bit early in the day. I wasn't happy with it, but... Um, that's like your team were going the wrong way. You want to oh, no. Anyway. Like, what is it at the minute? You you start the game and you're in a heavy and you say to yourself, well, if I, if I had one suggestion to win a game on, you know, statistically, a good chance of winning the game, every game, would be if everyone went in the same direction. So I tend to say to myself, if I'm feeling a bit lazy or whatever, I'll just say, right, let's all just rush the medium side. Depends what tank you're in. But if one just rushes the medium side, chances are, you, you, if the other team have split up, you've won the game, haven't you? If one team goes in a group, you've won the game. So what is it at the minute when you start the game and you go to help the mediums and the mediums all, all rush the, the heavy way. the mediums rush the heavy side and take the heavies on frontally, and you're like, what? Well, where are they going? What are they doing? I mean, I just don't get it. Mm. I just don't understand. I don't. The the heavies rushing the medium side with the mediums there as well means the heavies can push into the mediums and then the mediums can get in all the sort of flanking shots and you hopefully you can win quite comfortably like that. But it doesn't work the other way around, particularly, I don't think, because the heavies can deal with them. Well, anyway, it just seems odd to me, but um, the, yeah. game, the, game is, <laughs> the game is just a bit strange at the minute. Um... But anyway, to the replay. To the replay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, um, yeah. This, I mean, look, why is he pushing me? I think he underestimates your reload. Yeah. I think it took him a while to to realise that it's you that just shot and he can get you before the reload is, but yeah. no, he can't. You've got about a 10 second reload, which is actually not too bad. It's actually really good for a 460 alpha gun at TO10. Yeah, yeah. And with adrenaline, it's like nine seconds. Yeah. So that's actually really good. Yeah, it is. And it's it's a fairly strong position here. Um, you can see this is where you see the badges. A terrible traverse. Um, I I on this tank I selected to use the extra traverse speed rather than the uh, forward speed. Um, just I think this tank needs all the help it's got in terms of uh, traverse. Excuse me there. Um, so that's a fascinating camo for the T one ten E three. Yeah, it's also a cool mod. <laughs> it is. Um, see, I'm trying to keep my frontal armour to the badger. <laughs> trying to dodge around. Yeah, multitasking it's... <laughs> this time gives Trying to, really like, mad. yeah, yeah, it, is, it was bizarre. I'm trying to not let the badger be able to have a shot, but obviously I'm leaving myself open to the to the one, one two, two one. one, yeah. Um so it was, it was quite funny I quite enjoyed it but the reason I didn't really like this replay was because I was thinking I'll reverse and shoot him and then drive forward and then I thought I can't do that because that tank's there garbage reverse I mean traverse yeah 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 so now, the, now that guy's gone and, and I'm not in the position I could I was before but um, yeah your turrets your turrets amazing so you, you could if you can kind of just if I could be in the reversed position here, I could be kind of shooting over the mound of bricks there and it'd be fine. He wouldn't be able to do much back to me. He'd probably shoot my hatch, let's see, if I didn't, if I didn't guard it. But, um, but yeah, I don't know why they don't um, give the um, tortoise a similar armour layout to the badger, really. Yeah. Get rid of that hatch. I think they did it on PC version, but um, it's still not that strong a tank. Mm. So, yeah, so I think this is coming out in crates. Um, I don't know what the percent to win would be. Uh, it's Alpha Werewolf 2017, shout out to you. So, here's what I was saying look, you've got 226 millimeters on that lower plate. So, tier 10, everything can just go straight through it. Um, and then, even it, um, that's with heat from an IS4, um, you can get through your cheeks, much like the mouse on the mouse. Um, and then with APCR from a, a medium T62A, can't really pen you, but he switches to heat again, he's got no problem going through you. And obviously if you're up against a medium, you just drive around the sides of you anyway. I did have a lot of issues with um, the AMX and the T57 just unloading an entire clip on me. 
um, using premium rounds. Um, and I think it's because they're much higher up than you. You've got quite a low profile, which means that upper plate, they'll shoot down on it. So, and you can see the side arm is there. You might just want to rewind slightly, but you can see, I think it's the, the side arm is not that great. It's well, like 120, 130 odd. Um, so you, you can side scrape out a bit, but it's not, it's not, um, massively strong there are tier eight tanks that have got that sort of side armor yeah. so um it's not it's not um it's not the best but it's not bad at the same time um i, I almost kind of prefer the bk72 even with the bulge around the turret i kind of yeah. prefer that good luck if you're a sheridan doing that on the next patch <laughs> you won't be able to shoot over the hill like that anymore yeah. If you are going hold down in this tank and something can pen you che can pen your cheeks, um, then the best thing to do, because you have really small cheeks in the end, is to just wiggle your turret. Yeah. Wiggling in your turret would really help because you've got really like the dependable parts on the front of the turret are really, really, really small. They are. Yeah, you're totally right. And as well, it's worth noting as well that you're better to keep your gun facing the enemy because it tapers in towards the gun. Um, if you turn slightly away, they will actually make a nice flat, uh, weak plate for them to shoot. So you do need to kind of keep the gun pointed. But if you can sort of wiggle it left and right... Yeah, only you, a little bit just to kind of throw them off. Yeah. Um, your chances are you'll catch it on that gun mantlet, so... Mm. Um, so Alpha Werewolf's got a problem here really because there's tanks coming up from him in on literally every direction nice bounce um, he needs to try and clear them he's already a tank down two tanks down uh, does the right thing to get down below here to out of the way of those two guns in the background needs to clear this IS-4 misses his shot which is a bit unfortunate really unfortunate um, the IS-4 should have no problem penning him from there but, but doesn't he rushes his <laughs> shot that's the, that's the mistake he made he rushes his shot yeah thinking that he could penetrate him anyway no I think the Sheridan should relocate at this point uh, and look to come up behind the Reds here but yeah. instead he rushes the T-57 for some reason I think he reason. wanted to like cliff dive on top of him but he found a really shallow part of the hill see yeah, yeah. well well he should have gone round the, the hill and relocated. Yeah, well, he um, just tried to circle the T-57 instead of ramming him. Yeah, got up behind him, put a HE shot in his uh, weak yeah, American Yeah, set him back. on fire probably. Yeah, could have done. Um, still got it all to do. The last thing you want is an American light tank. To be circling around circling you. It's around. not even going to shoot you. He's just going to drive away. He's got too many hit points. I mean, he's done some... Fantastic damage here. Yeah, 5k, nice. In, I mean, oh, and a Sheridan as well. <laughs> Both it's... American missile tanks. This Sheridan can actually circle. He knows that he has a gun to shoot with. Ah, he needed not to take that hit, really. But he did take out the Sheridan, which yeah, is one gun off. Yeah. Is this going to be a win or a heroic defeat? or a heartbreaker. Heartbreaker, yeah. I don't know, but right now it's making me bite my nails. <laughs> it's not easy again if I were the light tank here I'd be relocating I wouldn't be trying to uh, duke a shot out of him I know he could he could he could just turn around right now run around the hill that's a misfire put off I a think. missile shot on him or anything uh, oh yeah um, I have a feeling he's gonna die yeah look how close he got a shot in but mm. oh, if he'd got a max roll yeah max roll would have done the chart the but, trick we do recommend the tank. I don't know about the crate side of it. That's entirely a matter for yourselves. But um, if it does come out in crate, you, you have to look after the tank. Well, I can say that for any tank, of course. But you do you do have to be aware of its strengths and weaknesses, and and really think about it, and and don't push too hard. So yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you liked the intro. I love making them. And I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Bye. Bye.